middle of, of a chaotic uh, November where you're dealing with COVID and the election, we, we just really needed the help and they were great. They were kind of like a step up from a regular intern position because they both came really prepared and both were really smart and kind of knew already what to do. They had really great news judgment. Getting their perspectives and seeing how their assignments, you know, just how they approached them. Um, kind of informed us and so you know like well what did what did college age students you know looking for how to track your ballot you know how to vote um if you requested a, a mail-in ballot but want to vote in person you know we were seeing kind of these questions pop up and then without this program we might have thought oh people you know we don't need to explain that that's not our job people get that we're fine but we had sort of the information that people were looking for that knowledge and then we had someone to go and do it um, and have that be her top priority which was awesome. Sometimes in journalism you feel like the deck's kind of stacked against you um, you know because it's it's a tough business any day of the week and then when there's external pressures of politics and, and other things that are kind of piling on um, it's nice to know that there are organizations and people out there who realize the importance of what we're doing and, and not just realize it but are willing to step up and support us in doing that. These kinds of grant funded opportunities make all the difference in the world. And I can tell you for a fact that our coverage would not have been as vigorous and diverse as it was for those two or three weeks were it not for the fact that you guys happened along. So for that, we are tremendously grateful. So that's, I guess that's what I would say more than anything else.